What's good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the cons of taking VTO. I have four cons and yeah, there's cons of taking VTO. Uh, there's a few and I'm going to be talking about that in today's video. I figured I might as well talk about this now because it seems like VTO is starting to slow down just a little bit. It is starting to slow down just a little bit. So, you know, I might as well make this video before VTO is gone completely. But yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. And I'm going to be talking about con number one. And this to me is probably the biggest and like most important one. And that's just addiction. You can, I think that you can get addicted to VTO. I think that once you take it the first time, you realize how simple it is, how easy it is. You get to go home. You, you, of course you don't get paid for it, but you get to go home and you don't have to go to work. And especially if you're like living with your parents or if you're just not super financially dependent on every single day at Amazon, if that's your situation, like BTO can seem really, really addicting and it could be a easy way out. And if you're just not feeling work, it's a good way to get out of work. If you have something to do, it's a good way to get out of work. And I think that it can cause addiction because how easy it is and how simple it is to just take BTO and go home rather than sit there for 10 or 12 hours at work. And yeah, it might not have, there might like not be an actual scientific addiction to it, but I do think that it is addicting in a sense. And I think that there are some people who you could consider addicted to it. And I think that I'm not one of them because if I, I think if I was one of them, I would be taking it to the point where I can't afford my bills anymore. But I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there who is taking so much VTO that they can't afford their bills or that their parents like kicked them out of the house or something like that. I'm pretty sure someone like that is out there. And yeah, I think the addiction part of VTO is a problem because once you take it once, you realize again how easy it is. And that can start to affect every single week of work after that. Like for example, like you'll take it that one week and then the next week you'll have to go through the 40 hours again and the 40 hours this time will feel tougher because you already took it last week so it, you you have the urge to take it again because last week you worked 30 hours or even 20 hours and this week you don't want to work another 40 hours so the week after that so maybe you take vto then and then the week after that you have another full 40 hour week and you're like okay i have to make it through this week and then VTO gets offered and then maybe it's your second or third day and you're like, ah oh, man, like this 40 hour week is extremely difficult. And then you're tempted to, to take it yet again. And I think it can become a problem. Like once you take it once, it sets off a path that sometimes some people just can't recover from and end up leaving Amazon entirely because of it. Because like I said, like once you take it once and you go through a 30 hour week, every 40 hour week after that starts to get more and more difficult and the more you take vto the harder it is to not take vto during a week after that and that's kind of part of the problem of addiction with vto so con number one and uh, like one reason you probably shouldn't take vto if you haven't already is that it can be addicting for sure but con number two this one's simple and it's the one that's on everyone's mind probably the most obvious one and that's that it's unpaid uh, if you have to pay bills, if you got to, you know, have like your phone bill paid or you have rent to pay or anything like that, then taking VTO might not be an option for you. And if you're going to take it and you can't afford to pay your bills after that, then that is a really, really big con and a big reason on why some people shouldn't take VTO. And if you're financially dependent on every single day at Amazon, then VTO being unpaid is definitely a massive con. For con number three, this one is I, not controversial, but this one is just, a, it, it depends, it depends, because I don't know how I feel about this personally, but that's con number three, which is blacklisting. So I've personally never heard of this at my site, and if it wasn't for these videos that I make, I would have never heard of this to begin with. Apparently, if you take so much VTO, you can actually get blacklisted from VTO. So what that means is that you won't get offered VTO at all anymore. And People have said this in my comments. Me personally, I've never experienced this at my site and it's almost like to the point where I don't believe that it's true, but it wouldn't surprise me. Like every site is different. Things are wildly different at every single site. Like that's why I always say stuff at Amazon is very like site dependent. It really depends on how things work at your site, not just my site or other people's site. So maybe this is true for other people's site. I know personally blacklisting isn't a thing for me at my site. And because I've taken VTO quite a few times and I've never been like blacklisted for it. And also it just doesn't make sense to blacklist people from taking VTO. Like Amazon is offering VTO because they absolutely 100% need people to take it. They're not take, they're not offering VTO and hoping people don't take it. They need people to take it. They need people to get out of the building. And I think that that's what kind of confuses me on why people accepting VTO would make them be blacklisted. But it is possible from what I've heard from other people's sites, they say that, yeah, blacklisting is a thing at my side. If you take too much VTO, you can no longer take VTO anymore. They blacklist you. Again, to me, that absolutely makes no sense at all. But if that is true, and I'm pretty sure it could be at other sites, then that is a con because 
if you're taking too much VTO and you want more VTO and you can't have it anymore because you've already taken too much, then that's, that's a pretty big con about taking like a lot of VTO. So con number three, blacklisting. And then last one, con number four. This one for me personally, not a con at all. You guys know I hate cross training with all my life. I cannot stand cross training into a new position, but I know this is a con for a lot of people and I've seen people comment this in my videos that this is a con for them. And that's taking VTO decreases your chances of learning new roles. So if you don't like the role that you're in, like let's say you're in pack and you don't like pack, you want to learn something new and you just don't like being there at pack. If you take VTO, you miss opportunities where they might change you from pack and cross train you elsewhere. Like during days that they're offering VTO for inbound stow, which is what I work, usually it gets to the point where if not enough people are taking VTO, they'll take some of those people off of stow and start cross training them elsewhere. When VTO is being offered to one specific role or maybe a couple specific roles within a warehouse, that means that if people aren't going to take it, they're either going to have to mandatorily send people home, which rarely happens, but it can happen, or two, they'll start cross-training the people that are there for other positions. And it's definitely a possibility. It's definitely something that exists where if you take too much VTO, you might not be able to get cross-trained. So if you're someone who is in a position where you might not necessarily like the role that you're doing, or you're getting bored of it, or you just want to learn something new in the Amazon warehouse in general, then I would definitely say that like taking VTO is a con because you want to learn new roles, you want to get new positions, and it's a con if you if you take too much VTO because you're not able to do that. So like I said, in my opinion, personally for me, this is not a con at all. This is like a huge pro, which is like thumbs up. It's like whenever I can't afford to take VTO, I get really sad and I get really like worried that they'll crush me elsewhere. And it happens sometimes and it really, really sucks, but I, I try to take VTO when it's slow like that because I know that if they're offering it for weeks on end or months on end and you don't take it, they're gonna cross train you elsewhere. And like I said, y'all already know me. I hate being cross trained. I cannot stand the idea of being cross trained anywhere. Uh, again, like I'll say why just really quickly, but you learn new roles and you don't get a pay increase for any of those roles. They abuse the hell out of you after you become cross trained to multiple different roles. And just the experience overall of being cross trained sucks in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's gonna be the end of this video. Those, those are four cons that I had of taking VTO. If you have any and that you would add to this list, let me know down in the comments below and let me know if there's any other ideas that you have about the VTO and what cons or pros that you have for VTO. And yeah, uh, before I do end this video, I do wanna give a quick shout out. And sorry, by the way, if you can hear my dog walking around in the background, she's being like really, really antsy right now. I'm not sure why, but she's running around like crazy. I think she's looking for something else. I. I Cannot tell you guys what she's looking for because that's gonna come out on a video on my other channel, Nathan Padilla. If you're not already subscribed to that channel, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It is already there. Go ahead and check that out. I do like vlogs, I do challenges, I do a bunch of other like in real life content on that channel. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, why my dog's being so antsy. But yeah, before, sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent here. But, but yeah, before I do end the video, I do wanna give a quick shout out to my ultra supporters. I'm going to give a shout out to one ultra supporter right now, which is Dom. Thank you so, so much, Dom, for becoming an ultra supporter and pledging at $9.99 a month for the channel. I really, really appreciate you so so much dude i thank you so much for becoming an ultra supporter and yeah i mean i really really appreciate you not only becoming ultra supporter dom you've been a moderator in my live chat on youtube and my live chat on twitch you've been a like during my streams you've been a, even been a moderator in my discord like thank you so so much dom i really really appreciate you and appreciate you for all the hard work that you do thank you so so much and again thank you for becoming an ultra supporter and if you would like to get a shout out at the end of the video like this go ahead and become an ultra supporter as well and you might get a shout out at the end of the video so yeah i'm doing these all throughout the month for all my ultra supporters right now i currently have two a couple days ago i only had one but we now have two ultra supporters but yeah i'm gonna end that there thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it leave a like subscribe down below if you haven't already i make amazon content like this weekly i'll catch you guys in the next one i love you all peace